But yeah, after Superion was dispatched to deal with the Devastator and Megatron and the brainwashed human who was currently using Megatron as a gun, he wasn't quite ready. They had uh, constructed the aerial bots Robots and completed the... More Autobots to destroy! And more Decepticons to destroy. They hadn't finished the personality programming yet, which was a thing they did back then. Because they had some different... I'm not even sure that's All canon right, any longer. Let's take it down. Or, like, it wasn't even really mentioned in uh, later when they... Oops. When they created uh, later... Uh, later Transformer groups for the Autobots or even Decepticons. So they had to make their personalities as well and not just give them life. I think it was kind of retcon to to their personalities coming with their sparks which I think was ex was the explanation of how uh, of how Jetfire went from uh, starting out as a Decepticon but, become, but becoming an Autobot later in the comics that is it was a different in the cartoons which I mentioned earlier great job guys What's this? What's happening now? Oh, hi. Access hatch open. The main controls are below the surface. Okay, of the that field. was actually kind of painful. Get into the subcoolant pod. Where's the problem? What? I didn't. <sighs> okay, there we go. From here, we can find the main control room and flush the rest of the coolant out of the station. Okay, we still have to flush the tanks. Head to the coolant control room. Let's move, Autobots. Isn't that what you just said? Oh, I'm hearing cloakers. Nobody stand behind my engines. Watch out, cloakers! Where are you, bastards? Might actually be better to be in. Uh, to be in robot form here because the minigun is very well suited for dealing with uh, cloakers. Well, if I can actually hit them, that is. I thought I saw the shimmering. I actually learned how to detect such shimmering from um, from the original Command and Conquer. The stealth tanks there had this shimmer, and since uh, that game allowed you to to fire at the ground, you could fire where a stealth tank was without even seeing it. If you, well, without revealing it. As long as you had a vague idea, it's there. Nice job. Keep moving. Let me just grab this. I've actually been considering what sort of games I could do after I'm done with both of the Transformers games and. Nothing that would really lend itself to the informers, um, to the informers uh, formula because there's not really a whole lot else I know a lot of weird well, facts exactly and trivia about. Making it out of this. Focus, Air Raid. Optimus is counting on us. No matter what, we will see this through. But yeah, I was talking about Superior's first mission. Um. Well. Silverbolt was the only one who was properly programmed yet with the idea that the, he has to protect the life while the other four just were in it to destroy Decepticons. 
or anything uh, considered a threat. Uh, this is it, the cool and control room. You've got the control straight ahead. Ah, what the? Jetfire, after all this time, you've come home. Jetfire, how does he know you? Long story. Megatron, enough lives have been lost. You've got to stop this madness. You should have joined my Decepticons when you had the chance, Jetfire. I wear the Autobot insignia with pride, Megatron. There is no pride to be had in humiliation and death. Decepticons, attack! And, then sti and still you do have to jump before you uh, transform. It's, it's a rule. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really hitting anything here, but I'm just figuring that enough splash damage will eventually take them out. But yeah, there were some uh, troubles with... Uh, with... Uh, well, the mind-controlled human, really, because Superior at-large at is formed of, well, all five minds. So the majority didn't see a problem with the... Uh, see a problem with uh, destroying a human if, the, if it was considered a threat. There's someone. Hello. Get up out of here. Ah! Got another rocket inbound. Out of energy. So Superion attempted to just squash the guy who was holding Megatron, but Superion objected and uh, and forcefully the disassembled Superion before before he could. Uh, before he could do it. And the good thing it was the leader who was the one who had the, the actual proper personality. Because if it was any of the others it might not have been able to. Finish them, then bring me their heads. Might not have been able to. Rerouting power to weapon systems. Decepticons, let's get them! Might not have been able to stop himself, to put it that way. Ah, oh, these guys are big. Let's fire them with something bigger too, and maybe I can cut loose of it. Now that's how you finish a fight. Quickly, drain the coolant. Here we go. I have a feeling this is going to go well. But, uh, ironically, or perhaps fittingly, the human was in a fight of, uh, of his own trying to... Jetfire! How long before it hits critical? Every nanoclick counts. But we can accelerate the process by overloading the pulse regulator from the station's nerve center. That would definitely finish it off. Well then, lead the way! Wait, what? Oh. Right. Red alert. Structural integrity at 95%. Replace coolant immediately. That's good, right? This is good. Jetfire, you are dead on. The station's coming apart at the seams. Not fast enough, it isn't. When we get to the nerve center, we can really cause some damage. Red yes. alert. It's a Structural dead. integrity no at such 90%. Thing. Jump down through the coolant. Alert. Interjon beam integrity is compromised. Incompetent fools! Find the Autobots immediately! The Autobots have overloaded the entire cooling system! Megatron will vaporize us if Trypticon goes offline! Move! Yes, sir! There you heard the name! Trypticon. There, the nerve center is just up ahead. We. Because... Guys... Spoiler, we are inside Trypticon now. I think that is 
Awesome! Um... But yeah, the human was also fighting the, uh, the Decepticon mind control. And ended up actually Address! helping the Decepticon! Autobots win. Melt them down! Burn through them, Autobots! Don't even slow down! I never do! I am going to try to destroy this thing, or maybe I am going Brand to over. die. Structural integrity at 85%. Ow. Ow. Where is Energon? I need Energon. Maybe there was Energon in the other room. Ooh. Okay, where are you? Silverbolt at your service. Oosh. motion. I approve. Okay, let's just get rid of these snipers. Quick, clean, efficient, perfect. Er, ah. Barely saw me coming. Um. But yeah, the, the punishment afterwards for the... For the aerial bots for I'm nearly destroying a human was actually quite excessive by Optimus standards since he, he was the one who ordered it, but... Basically all five of them, including Silverbolt, had their uh, personality course wiped and reprogrammed from, the scra from scratch. Which... <laughs> well, I'm sure you can see that there are some issues with that. Can't you? Maybe. Stop following me, distract him! Ugh, they're too good at at guarding each other now. A complete brain wipe. There was basically nothing left of the old uh, aerial bots just because Optimus felt they didn't perform well enough on the mission. And I'd be very surprised if that's still considered a part of the cannon. Wish they'd run out of those rockets. Target lock. Fire. So we're going in here. As for air ray. I think he's the best soldier of them of the aerial bots, actually. Um hello? Look at that! The beam is just eating those guys! Yeah. How do you like that, Deceptor Creeps? Uh. Red alert. Structural integrity at 80%. Being eaten by this stuff does not seem like anything I'd even wish on my worst enemies, but... What sort of a choice do we have, huh? It's either these guys, or... Or, uh, Quite a lot of Autobot lives. I mean, I respect that about the Autobots, that they do what needs to be done. Need to cool off. That's how I'd prefer all my hits to go. 